Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best baby strollers. Starting at number 5. Minu V2 Stroller Grayson. Full disclosure, I've owned an original Minu since 2018, so I've had a lot of time to consider what it does well and where it falls short. With that said, I can say the changes Yupa Baby made to the Minu V2 go a long way towards addressing the issues I had with the original. The Yupa Baby Minu is the brand's lightweight, compact stroller. Its significantly smaller dimensions make it well suited for traveling on a plane, but the Minu also works as an everyday stroller. The Minu V2 builds on the original with small but meaningful improvements. The latch that keeps the stroller together when folded is now hinged and spring-loaded, making it easier to release and unfold. The canopy has been redesigned with a zip-out extension, replacing the previous pull-down shade that got loose and floppy over time. There's also an adjustable leg rest, a welcome addition for naps in the stroller. Coming at number 4. Veer Cruiser Next. It's rare for a stroller to live up to its marketing hype, but the Veer Cruiser does just that with a rugged design that offers capability and utility in spades. The Veer is a versatile stroller wagon that seats two children. The wagon can be pulled or pushed, though pushing requires some getting used to as it steers from the back in this configuration. In keeping with its extreme outdoorsy image, the wagon is designed to be hosed down when it gets dirty. This is a great feature, especially if your kids spill food from the center snack tray. The Veer Cruiser's 12-inch rear wheels help it crawl over uneven terrain, while the front wheels with integrated suspension help smooth out the ride. The sides of the wagon are at a good height for a toddler to rest their arms on and they can easily climb in and out. Though the sides, seat backs and handlebar collapse flat, the Veer Cruiser is still bulky when folded due to its large wheels. It's also on the heavy side at 32.5 pounds. At number 3. Chico Corso Modular Travel. After more than 60 years in the baby products game, Chico has earned a reputation among parents for being a trusted brand. In the competitive stroller market, Chico's offerings fall right in the middle of the price spectrum, and even though its strollers aren't super high-end, they offer a lot of bang for your buck. The Chico Corso is a perfect example. The Corso is a full-size, single-seat travel system stroller, which means it was designed from the outset to be compatible with a car seat. Though the Corso's seat is suitable for newborn babies, it's easier to keep your little one in their car seat, remove it from its base, pop it into your stroller, and go. Doing this avoids transferring your baby, which is a game-changer if they're sound asleep and want them to stay asleep. Number 2 of my list. Wonderful W4 Lux. Unless you're a stroller enthusiast, you probably won't notice when another parent rolls up next to you with a fancy set of wheels. But everyone will notice the wonderful W4 Lux. This imposing four-seat stroller wagon stands at 4.5 feet tall with the canopy fully extended, and is just over 4 feet long. On walks, it will take up most of the sidewalk. Despite its size, the largest Wonderfold model is relatively easy to maneuver, though don't expect it to navigate tight corridors and aisles. You will feel the weight of the wagon when pushing uphill or for long periods, but the large 12-inch wheels in the rear make that task less laborious. And number 1. Baby Jogger City Mini. It's a great idea to buy a convertible stroller for your first baby if you're considering having a second. It gives you the flexibility to add another seat and convert it into a double later on down the line. But while a convertible stroller will work well enough, a dedicated double stroller might better suit your needs. The Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 Double is an all-terrain side-by-side double stroller with several advantages over a convertible double stroller. For one, its maneuverability doesn't change with the number and size of the kids it's carrying. A convertible double stroller has its seats arranged in a tandem configuration. 
If you have an older toddler in the front seat, the added weight over the front wheels will affect your steering effort. A side-by-side -side doesn't have that problem if you don't exceed the stroller's weight limits. Another benefit of the side-by-side -side layout is the ease of getting your child into the seat. Since there's nothing in front, lifting them into the seat is a breeze. My three-year-old liked to climb into his seat himself, though this was a double-edged sword as he could just as easily climb out if he wasn't buckled in. Buckling him in was easy when I just used the waist belt, but the shoulder straps interlocking harness system was tricky. The harness parts all go together a certain way. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.